He returned the teacup to the saucer and picked up the orb as one would an apple, and pondered the strange something. Oh, I suppose guest room is its closest. Herbert's trunk was wrapped in rope. The lock had been broken. By thieves, he assumed he wondered if anything had been left considering all the hands it had passed. My journal is gone. What they want with my journal? Ah, oh, get off, you candlestick. Whatever. Oh, look, it's another rabbit. I never did quite look at this as in-depth as the dog. Oh, yep, there's a stitch mark. See, these guys suck at taxidermy. Clearly, this place was ransacked. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Right. Oh, that's neat. The door is stuck due to a broken lock. Ha, oh, I bet this room is going to get spooky because of how well lit it is. Oh, look. A primary objective. This room is definitely going to be spooky. And even a place to hide? Oh, you couldn't make it more obvious, game. I know how the games work. False sense of security and all that. Even the fact that you left this door wide open. There. No one should be able to get in now. Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. Ha! Ah, because you'll lose your memory. Alright, let's try and grab uh, the Tinder box. That's not a mine. Like a major objective. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. 
Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Right, and here we go, jump scare. No? Well, you pulled one over on me this time, game. I would have uh, for sure thought there was a jump scare. Wasn't far off. Nope, I was not far off. I knew. Oh, I'm gonna stop lying. I thought it was gonna be in that room, but it turned out to be in this one. So, you know, whatever. Oh, that's cute. Did they put in a little, uh, leaving sound effect? So they'd be like, oh, everything's safe now, Daniel. Come out into the open. Well, it appears to have some significance, but I don't know what it is. Fourth of July, 1839. It's done! The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them. But somehow, I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. You don't say. Now then. Oh, key in a bottle. He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet that had been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. <clears throat> na, 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 na. Well, even though we got the room key, we should probably go and check this place out. He flipped through the Book of Monarchs looking for etchings and counted 
nine different kings from all over. Europe had been depicted with an orb resting in their hand. The darkness in the storage feels strange and unnatural. Find a way around the rubble in the study. Find the key that unlocks the door leading to the machine room. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Ah, what do you mean the darkness is unnatural? <sighs> a few cuts and bruises, crystal clear. I guess I should, uh, load it up tab. Sure, let's light everything up. There we go. Now the darkness doesn't feel scary. Now does it, Daniel? Oh my god. No. No. No! 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 Jesus! I thought he was gonna get me. Professor Taylor was the second death caused by damn curiosity. Is it still chasing? Oh. Huh. I was not having any of that. Said he could see me in the darkness by that creepy noise and his charging at me. I am not the type of person to sit there and wait and see. Better to just try and run. As you can see, because I didn't take any damage. The strange letter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Crucifer, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Hey, don't worry, guy. Okay, did not like those sounds. Sounded rather suspicious. Pressure. Need to waste any oil when we have that. So, what does something here? 
those levers looked important, but who knows what I'm supposed to do with them. Ah, hearing uncomfortable noises coming from over there. Lantern, lantern, lantern. There we go. There we go. 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. Alright, they said something about sedatives and like the loading cut screen thing. So this man, Daniel, clearly has a problem with uh, chemical abuse sub uh yeah, chemical abuse. Doing shit to make himself forget things, amnesia, taking sedatives. Note that there are only two spare rods left in storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms. In case all three would crack again. Study. Wasn't I in this study? Alright. Oh, the objectives say that you gotta get past the rubble. Somehow. Isn't that helpful? Somehow. There we go. Lantern. And lantern. It's nice having uh, lanterns lit, that way I don't gotta waste stuff. <sighs> I wonder if there's like any point in paying attention to like ambiance in this game at all. I'm starting to think that pretty much there is no reason to do that because the fact that when they make monsters appear they surely as hell do it. I guess there's no cog uh, wheel underneath this coal, huh? Seems like it would have been a good idea. 
Uh, looks like I'm missing one. I wonder where it could have gone. this shovel with me. Ah, I bet the thing is hidden in all of these parts. Machinery. There it is. The shovel found it. I'm going to leave you right here. There. Now, what does this machine do? <laughs> the machinery needs more work before we are done. What work? Need coal? Oh! So the shovel idea wasn't impractical. See? I know how to use the smarts. I bet all the other Let's Players didn't figure that out to begin with. So, uh, it comes in handy sometimes to be watching someone who isn't a complete idiot. There we go. What do you say? One coal? Two coal? Three coal? Well, thank you for telling me it's full. Let's see, does it work now? The machinery needs more, huh? What else could you want? You got a fuel source, you got your cogs. You want me to read this letter? Primary objective? 17th of July, 1839. How has this escaped me? They're all dead. Limbs scattered, heads split down the middle, their skin flayed as if boiled. I feel like I'm falling into myself. What's happening? Sir William Smith, Professor Taylor, now Dr. Tate. Is it following me? How can it not be? It's the damn thing I brought from Africa. Something is after me. I have no choice but to trust the Baron. He better know what he claims. If he is wrong, I suspect he'll regret it as well. Maybe now it'll work. So, uh, this Daniel fellow appears to have come to Alexander's castle. in hopes that... Ah! I just remembered I mean, all the shit missing on the upper floors. That's probably why he doesn't run. But yeah, this Daniel fellow came to Alexander for help. Because of, he's being haunted. So it said that these things are in the study. This is a nice shovel. Too bad this isn't a, a game designed by Valve. Um, starts with team, and ends with two. So then this would be useful. Oh! That's neat. The shovel can do it. Let's see here. Oh.
There we go. I almost was gonna have a F moment. Okay, so the study. And where are those things? This pressure. How do I know what pressure to put it to? One, three, maybe it's supposed to equal a certain number. It'd be great if you could tell me what number it's supposed to equal. Uh, let's try 20 for no specific reason. So, 5, 8, let's see, uh, 12, 13, 17, That's 19. This is the thing either way. Okay, so uh, 19. That's 17. This will add to. Um. So 19 again? Uh, turn that into a 1, that'll take away 2. Flip that up. It'll make it add 2 again. I have no idea what I'm doing, to be honest. Let's just go and see if it tells me something later. Sir William Smith had been marked. There was no way for him to know that the young man from the other day has such a terrible shadow. Forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. Oh, I look like a little girl with my little umbrella. Ah. Canon Heavenly trying to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. I think I read that already. But really, in the desert? Yeah, I'd use, uh... An umbrella. Why the hell not? I don't want to get a heat stroke. Tinderbox. Okay, let's see. This way or that way? That one's a bigger dark way, so let's go. See, that's downstairs. We'll check here. Well. Whoa! 
Hello! Sounds like she's still alive. Too bad she's behind all of that. Machine parts. Well, too bad, doll face. Oh, after Alexander is done with her, who knows if she's still got a doll face anymore. Candles are a waste of time. They don't really light up shit. I'm sorry, doll face. I can't find you. You don't need to, like, weep. If I could save you, I would, but guess what? You're just ambient as of right now. Yeah, yeah, I get it, Dollface. You're tortured. Oh, look, it's the machine part. Let's try and blockade the door. Who wants to go through bullshit like last time, huh? Not high, brother, not high. Combine with them, huh? Okay, thanks for telling me when I can't do it. Huh, well I guess there wasn't a monster this time after all. Did I go in there? Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh. I've prepared the explosives you need, clearing the flood drain. I can't stress enough how important it is that the mixtures handle the care. Please take care, you feather brained servants. Just before you go ahead with your plans, the liquids are not themselves explosive and should be kept separate to avoid further mishaps. So I would arrange two large vats in the next room for the ingredients. All you have to do is mix the liquids and you are ready to go. In the other room, he says. How specific? Real part. Well. Wouldn't have any the oil, would it? Does not appear as as if it is. Is I in here? Yes, I was. Let us depart with haste. Ah, uh, let's check the journal. Ooh, the rubble from the cave-in is hindering further passage in the storage. You don't find a way to get through. Find another way. Only rubble in the study. Find a way to start the engine. The power from there. From there. Right out. So I read something about explosives. That sounds neat. Ah! Maybe this room's open. Ah, well, bye. Alright then. To the study it is. I read something about the study earlier. Huh. 
Ah, repetitive loading screen hint thing. thing. Well, the serene music is sure gone. Do study. Practically no pain. That's the answer to a lot of things in this game, isn't it? Literally just brute force it. Click it repetitively. I was in there. Lock. Okay, so outside the window. Just one of those things that opens up the second time around. Huh? Bringing this rabbit with me. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's disgusting. Yeah. That extra window sill looks unnecessary. Oh, I didn't even jump on that go. Huh? Oh, God! Tread carefully. Look, the rabbit's still here. What's that? When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries from where I came. My unkind is not even wasted a breath, yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in the fairness, should have entered that gate. I am truly sorry. Getting closer. Was that me who said that? Dot dot dot. Incomprehensible mechanics. <clears throat> Elevator renovation plans. Using steam power for elevation. Chamber controller. Elevator schematics. Where'd the rabbit go? There it is. Emergency de de accelerator. Wow. Pretty sophisticated elevator. Oh. 
어휴. I know I said candles were a waste of tinder boxes and all, but you know, now I won't have to waste oil while I'm in this room exploring. Looking at all these broken cogs. Nothing I need, huh? Tiny little cog. What's that? Low cylinder rod. The elevator breaks down again. Make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it into the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount of pressure inside the chamber. The meter should read up 8, down 8. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Trinity steam functions, 4 phase amplitude, Complete steam flow cycle. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. Right. Well, we need to find some rods then. Ah, stop your little creaking creakies. Is that it? Oh, I guess I shouldn't say that. It's, it. it's a pretty uh, vital part of... The elevator. The schematics to build it. So, I'm just going to assume that was a lumberjack. Cutting down uh, lumber illegally on Alexander's property. Make haste. Look through the books of monarchs, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I thought I read it already, but then I didn't get to know it yet. Guest room. Okay, so, from what I interpreted, I now just need to solve the puzzle in here, having to do with the lever. Best Taylor was second death caused by his damn curiosity. Okay, eight up, eight down. Okay, that's eight. Okay, so right here, that's way too much. Probably we need to. Uh, Reconfigure. Alright. So. This would be four. So. Well, um. Uh, <sighs> Ah, one over on top. Close, even, and stable. Oh, is that bug? Ah, oh, that's not real, I hope. There's an actual gnat flying around in front of my screen. 
And that genuinely freaked me out. Okay, so I did this. Okay, fuck off, you stupid man. Next time I see it, I'm gonna kill it. Now, where did it say to find the rods? Probably in the extra machine storage part by the crying lady. But how do we get in? Still three coal burning. I can't lift it up to stop wasting coal. Where did I put that shovel? Oh, the shovel's lost in the... Stand the time.